for the average man? Uh, men have worshipped sex in a way that they've never done before. And as a result, what before would make you, a man want to marry you would involve a woman having a lot of good qualities. Before, a woman would think, okay, I have to come from a good family, or maybe I should go to school, I should maybe educate, I should, you know, uh, really learn how to cook, I should do something with my life, I should sew, I should do something. This is our grandma's generation. They knew that the, you know, you make too many mistakes, you're going to be left on the shelf. In this day and age, day and age, the women that are actually the least promiscuous, the most traditional, don't have sexual experience, struggle to find a man. Whereas a woman with every surgery, with every tattoo, with all of her body out everywhere, she has endless queue of men. Now they're going to argue, no, 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 but we don't, you know, we don't want to marry those girls. They're, they're actually lying. Men are very happy to marry the woman that gives them the most sexual pleasure. They think that's not true. But you ask them which of your exes or which woman had the biggest chokehold over you. And it will be usually the woman that they enjoyed the sex with the most. And when a woman learns that she can get away with murder simply because you're hyper attracted to her, it makes it impossible for her to respect and want to be with you. Impossible. Because it's like, how did I get here so easily? You must not be valuable. Whereas when we know that certain behaviors will make us insufferable to you because you don't give us a free pass because of our appearance or our sexual performance, we can finally respect you. So because of the culture we've got today and because how men have worshipped sex in a way that they never really did before, um, I'm, I'm not blaming them, I'm blaming societal changes. It's made it very difficult for us to respect the man that we know, you know, if we just simply know exactly how he likes it, he'll forgive us in five minutes. Or if we know when we turn our back, he'll be on downloading an OnlyFans subscription. It's hard for us to respect that man. Okay, you're touching on something really big here, that mm -hmm. there's a what I'll call a derangement in culture. Mm -hmm. uh, so you hinted at this idea that in the past we had a very different culture, what mm -hmm. men wanted, um, incentivized women to invest in a set of skills. Mm -hmm. Their obsession with sex was being tampered by something. Yeah. I want to know what what has changed in culture specifically? What did it used to be and what is it now? Um, we had realistic expectations of our sexual climaxing and what, our play, what we deserve sexually. So what I mean by that is when a person looked, you know, wasn't so appealing, he would accept that he's going to be with a woman that doesn't, isn't the most appealing and they would have a relatively <laughs> mundane sexual performance and that would be their life. And the man that might be, you know, the jock in school, he might get with the cheerleader and they'd have realistic expectations of what to expect from the opposite gender. The advent of social media and pornography has allowed the person with the least amount to offer a woman to still believe he deserves and still want to desire the top of the range woman who is the most sexually promiscuous, who is the most sexually overt. He still believes there's an element of him who thinks he deserves that now. And because they've got such inflated expectations of what they want and deserve sexually, they can't match with people who are on the same level as them and it's leading, lead, leading them to a lifetime of loneliness because they're rather be alone than be with a woman on their same level. Whereas before, they would just be like, okay, I'm a bit, you know, maybe I'm not so successful, maybe I'm a bit overweight, if my wife's a bit chubby, I can understand it. I'll meet men who are now in their 50s and saying, oh, she's, I, she's let herself go a little bit, she's got a few stretch marks, and it's like, but you, uh, tell me about your body. Oh, yeah, I, I need to work out, but she, and it's that it, complete hypocrisy that they've developed through constantly watching beautiful women online. All right, is that the core cultural wound that we no longer are being realistic about our own sexual market value? Yeah, I believe so. I think the inflated expectations from what we're watching um, and not being aware of what we bring to the table is one of the core issues, but also the liberation of sex, of how like it's got no cap on it anymore. So just a normal, you know, we would kind of just probably expected by the time our parents got into our 50s or 60s and stuff they would have just a normal kind of sex life and in, in this day and age they're still they, they endless desires an insatiable cup when it comes to your sexual desires and, and because they're constantly bombarded with different ideas